Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you moving envelope points with media items in Reaper. This is a pretty important option in Reaper. And to turn it on or off, we can do it right from here. In the toolbar, this is on and this is off. And the way it works is it controls what happens when we move our media items. So with this turned on, and I move this item that has an envelope on it, the automation that's on this track moves with it. If we turn this off and move it, it doesn't. The automation doesn't move, just the item does. Now you're probably wondering, why does that matter? Wouldn't we always want it on? Not necessarily. Let's undo that. Let me give you an example. I have a synth here with some pan automation, and I want to preserve it as I duplicate this over to bar four. So in that situation, I would turn this on. And then I would duplicate it by holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac and just grab it, and move it to bar four. And all the automation that's on this track that's associated with this item is going to move with it. Let's undo that. But let's say we have a situation. Let's zoom out. See this piece right here? It also has automation on it down here, but it's a bit different. Let's say I wanted to move this. Let's put this over here. Let's say I wanted to move this item over here to replace it, but we wanted to keep the automation that we already wrote over here. We didn't really care for this one. In that situation, we're going to want to turn this option off. Then we can delete this. The automation is still there. And then we can either duplicate this or just move it. Notice what happens. The automation doesn't move. So if we put it over here on bar two, we now have the automation that was at bar two, not the automation that was over here. Let's undo that. Or if we duplicated it, it would be the same thing. It doesn't move the other automation. So you don't always want to move the automation with it. Sometimes you want to preserve the automation that's in that spot and just move the items to it. So once again, we could turn that on and off right here. But it's important to know when it's on or off and the kind of moving or arrangement that you're actually doing. So be aware of that when you move your items around and when they have automation or envelopes on them. Now, there's a few other options that go with this. If we go over here and right click, we see a menu. Now all these items over here also show up in the options menu. Under envelope points, right over here, they're the same options. I'm going to choose them from over here. The first option I want to show you is one of my favorites, and it's not on by default. Envelope point selection follows time selection. When this is turned off, sometimes it's a bit hard to work with envelopes. If you want to select a few points, hold down Shift and select them to move them. But it can be a bit hard to grab each one of them. An easier way is to use this option. Envelope point selection follows time selection. So if we turn this on, we could select these points in our envelope just by creating a time selection. So I go like this. All these points are now selected. So let's say I wanted to delete these points over here. Instead of selecting them one by one like this, I could just select, hit delete, and they're gone. Or if I wanted to move things by copying and pasting, let's copy from here to here. See they're all selected? Just copy them, go to the spot, and paste them. I find that to be a very quick way to edit our envelopes. So I like to turn it on right here. But again, it's off by default. So if you want this behavior, you have to turn it on. Now just below it is a preference. 
This is on by default. Add edge points when moving envelope points with items. Let me show you what this does. This envelope has a point up here and a point down here, but it doesn't have a point over here. This is in between points. So let's say I trim this item right here up to that spot. And now if I move it, I'm going to want the envelope to move with it. And with this option turned on, at edge points, when moving envelope points with items, it's going to create a point right here so it can move it intact. Watch. See how it created a point down there? This way the envelope stays the way it was recorded. If we turn that option off, it's not going to create a point. It's just going to use the points that already exist. So now watch what happens if we move this. Those points stay intact, and it doesn't create a new one, but it changes how the automation relates to the item. But if you want that behavior, just leave this off, although it's on by default, which makes sense. There's a few other options right below it. They're off by default, but they work the same way where it's going to add edge points for ripple editing or inserting time. So if you find yourself working in those modes and not getting the results you want, you might want to turn this on. And it's the same thing when you're moving multiple envelope points. Again, this is off by default. Now the last option right down here, which is on by default, is to reduce envelope point data when recording or drawing automation. Let me show you how that works. Let's turn it off. Let's draw some automation. Now I'm going to try to draw it pretty straight, like straight lines. But notice what's happening. It's creating a lot of data points, which is kind of wasteful when I'm really trying to just draw a straight line. And it also makes it harder to edit. But if we turn this back on, watch the difference. If I try to draw a straight line, it creates very few points. And it makes the envelopes look a lot simpler as we can now edit them a lot easier than trying to edit this. So once again, this is on by default. And in most cases, that's the behavior we're going to want. And once again, all those options are available right down here. Envelope points. But you can just right click over here to get the same ones. Or you can create a keystroke to trigger turning this on or turning it off. But turning it on preserves the envelope points when you move things, and turning it off doesn't. We can move the audio separately from the data. So that's pretty much it. That's moving envelope points with media items in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.